Here we have three different teapots that I've made, um, starting with the middle one, which is modeled on a Tang Dynasty teapot, um, which is, has a, the handle on the side. It's an elongated egg-shaped form, which the Tang Dynasty was really famous for. And the type of tea you would brew in this would come from the north, where the tea looks more like leaves of grass than what we would consider leaves off a tree. When the tea is picked and cured, they roll it up into little balls. When you put it in your pot, you add water and steep it. It expands upwards and downwards, and you can steep it many, many times for longer durations. But in the Ming Dynasty, the technology of tea changed and really became what we would consider tea today. It's smaller leaves, and they open sideways, so a short, squat, bell-shaped teapot like this is more fitting for steeping that type of tea. And so as the type of tea changes during the Ming Dynasty, so does the aesthetics of the ceramics during the Ming Dynasty. So as tea is widely introduced to the populaces, so do different people's tastes in tea utensils. So you see a gourd shaped here. The interesting thing to really remember and pay attention to when it comes to teapots is the proportions. The proportions of the snout, if you will, to the top to the handle. So these things all come into play when you're actually using the tea utensil and pouring tea. So as the types of tea that are available to consume changes, so do the different types of teapots, the utensils change as well.